What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rolling back into the Master Tier, but this time using an Iron Moth and Flutter main team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, the support on my channel has been amazing. Cannot wait to upgrade the channel with new logos, whole new rebranding, and brand new playthroughs on the channel. Seriously, stay up to date on everything by subscribing. It really goes a long way. But we got Iron Moth today. Starting off in the top left-hand corner with today's team preview. It's got Cork Drive. It's got some got the booster energy as its item and then it's hitting with heat wave acid spray energy ball and protect and the reason iron moth is pretty strong is because the special attack is so strong but this one has acid spray it can lower special defense for pokemon like fluttermane to come in here and just absolutely rip into pokemon so i'm gonna really like this pokemon and be using it a lot in today's video second pokemon is going to be our fluttermane and like i said fluttermane's here to hit hard that's why it's got the choice specs it's got Protosynthesis as its ability moonblast dazzling gleam shadow ball and mystical fire for coverage and for dropping special attack so great pokemon all around third pokemon is going to be don dozo so don dozo in series two is still very very strong but it isn't as good as it used to be, considering there are other pokemon to counter right now and they can kind of get after don dozo but still very great pokemon super strong in series two and as unaware, Chester Berry as item, Wave Crash, Order Up, Earthquake, and Rest for a great Don Dozo moveset. Fourth Pokemon is going to be my boy Tasu Gummy over here with Commander and the Focus Sash. Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, Taunt Protect, great moveset for any Tasu Giri. Fifth Pokemon, Golden Go. Golden Go is another Pokemon just like Don Dozo, really strong in Series 2, but not as good as it was in Series 1. Still, like I said, very good, very strong for any team. Golden Go, good as gold, leftovers as its item, make it rain, shadow ball, nasty plot protect. Really nothing to change here for it, that Golden Go. Final Pokemon is going to be King Gambit. I love King Gambit. Love its design, love its typing, just love its stats all around. Defiant and Assault Fest as its item, Kowtow Cleave, Iron Head, Terror Blast, and Sucker Punch for an amazing moveset. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Iron Moth and Choice Specs Flutter me. First battle coming at you guys, going up against an Iron Hands and Iron Bundle team alongside a Fluttermane, Torkoal, Sableye, and me Alaskarada. So they do have the Torkoal to prop the Photosynthesis on the Fluttermane, but I really don't see them bringing that, right? I mean, unless they want to pop Trickroom with me Alaskarada or Sableye, then they bring in a Torkoal, but I don't really see them popping Trickroom. I kind of just see them going in with the Pokemon that they have and rocking out with it. So from here, I'm going to lead Fluttermane. I feel like Fluttermane is a solid lead considering I could definitely see them leading, uh, what is that? The Iron Hands, so Fake Out can affect this Pokemon because it is Ghost, and then we can kind of just go from there. So I might lead Fluttermane, I could also lead Dantoso, or I can just lead straight up Double Ghost, which wouldn't be bad at all. But the problem with that would be if Miascarada does get the lead. And what could I do up against Miascarada? Maybe go into you and just Terra Blast Gambit? That wouldn't be too bad. I mean, I could just go Iron Moth with this one. I don't mind Iron Moth here either. But I am scared of the Sucker Punches, I really am. But I'm going to go in with Iron Moth and Fluttermane. Bring Don Dozo and the Tatsu in the back, or do I roll in with Golden Go and Gambi? What would be better here? What would be better? Hmm. Looking at it, I don't think Golden Go and King Gambit's too bad here. I kind of like them both. But the Torkoal could be a problem, so I am going to go Don Dozo and I am going to go Tatsu. Don't be my play all day. Play all day. Let's get it. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I really wonder who they're going to lead. Because they have so many different options. But every time I see Iron Hands, I feel like that has to be a lead. It's such a good lead. It's just such a good Pokemon. You can fake it out. You can set up your other Pokemon. You can just go from there. But hopefully they're not going to lead Iron Hands. And they do not. They go Fluttermane and straight Torkoal. So Fluttermane and Torkoal come out here. I go Iron Moth and Fluttermane of my own. So from here, Heat Wave's going to chip up a lot of damage onto their Fluttermane. Which is going to be good. Their Fluttermane Speed Titan. What about mine? Is my Speed Titan... My speed is heightened too, but they outspeed me, right? I mean, that kind of just proved it right there. My booster energy is going to pop, so I got my Quirk Drive activated. That's going to boost my speed as well. Now, Torkoal's sitting here. Torkoal, a little bit of a problem here, right? I really want to Gleam, which I think I am going to Gleam, right? Or do I just straight up Shadow Ball into it? I want to be choice near. So what move would I want to choice into? Probably over everything, Moonblast would be my best choice. Moonblast would add some Gleam. And I think I'm going to Gleam here. And the reason I want to Gleam, hmm. Yeah, the reason I want to Gleam is because if Fluttermane has Sash, because I'm just going to Heat Wave this as well. Exactly, window. 
So what's my terror type here? It is grass, but no shot. No shot I'm terrasalizing the grass right now. Fluttermane's gonna end up protecting. It's okay, we're going for double hitting moves anyway. Just as long as we land these. Leem comes out here. Leem should definitely land onto that Torkoal. Chip up a little bit of damage. And then Iron Moth's going to pop a little bit of a Heat Wave action. But Heat Wave can get after it. Heat Wave can get after it. It's Stab. It's going to be not very effective, but it isn't a Sun, which is a doing decent amount of damage. So we brought this thing down to half. Earth Power is going to come in here. I was not expecting Earth Power, but we eat that up. That's not a bad eat up. That is not a bad eat up. So from here, I'm choosing the Gleam, and I'm choosing the Heat. Or I'm not choosing the Heat Wave. I could Acid Spray. Lower your defensive stats. But it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. I'm just going to Heat Wave again. Just try to get rid of this Flutter Main. Because if Iron Moth goes down, I don't really care as long as we can get rid of the Flutter Main. I mean, Torvald can do work, but I think we're thriving here. I really do. We'll see what he wants to go into. He's going to end up Terrasalizing. Who are you Terrasalizing? The Torkoal? Or the Flutter Main? It is going to be Flutter Main. So Flutter Main is going to get the Terrasalization. Go straight into Fire, which isn't bad. We might still be able to KO it, though. We'll see. That's not a bad Terra there. Especially if it outspeeds, which it does. And he's just going to straight up KO my uh, Iron Moth. So Iron Moth's going to drop out here. We have choice specs on this, so this Gleam should be able to do a decent amount of damage onto that uh, Flutter Main. Actually, no, it's not. It's going to be not very effective. kind of sucks, but let's see. Yeah. That hurts. That hurts. And this thing, of course, is rocking with the Citrus Berry, and he's going to rip into me with a Heat Wave, correct? Hopefully, we dodge it. It's got to be a Heat Wave, right? Yeah. Dead? No, we eat. Awesome. And that was a crit. Wow. That was a crit. So from here, I could bring in you. I could bring in you swap the Flutter main and just start ripping. Right? Wave Crash can get some damage off. We could get some damage off. So obviously, I could stay in here, but I'm just going to swap. I mean, no reason not to swap to the Tatsugiri. And then we could just go into EQ. We can freely EQ. Yeah, EQ can get some big damage off on both these guys. And it won't get neglected by the... Uh, the sunlight because I was going to use wave crash wave crash the damage would obviously get get neglected by the uh, sun and we would take recoil damage and plus this hits both the Pokemon and we're going to be plus two so this should be able to hit pretty hard so I'm going to go right here I maybe should have terrestrialized right I maybe should have terrestrialized because this thing probably has a ground terror which could have been big for us I probably should have done that We'll see. All of our stats go boosted. That's huge. We still have a Chesto Berry to wake us up when we want to rest. And this thing's just going to straight up protect, which is totally fine by me. I could tear an next turn if I want to. Depending on how much damage this can do to this uh, Torkoal here. But we getting after it. We getting after it. But nothing's worse than when you take out the Dazo and a little little sushi fish comes out here and kills you. <laughs> like That's what's so good about him. But we don't KO the Torkoal. That hurts the soul. And we dodge that Willowist. So that's big time. Okay. So from here, EQ will definitely... Okay, yeah, there's no reason for us to terrestrialize. EQ will definitely KO the Flutter Main. Torkoal's just a bit bulkier. So I'm with just dropping it over here. It's actually big time. And he goes from Helping Hand for no reason. That doesn't really do much because Andoza's just going to KO. Oh, Torkoal Helping Hand. I thought the Flutter Main Helping Hand. I really did think the Flutter Main Helping Hand there. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? But EQ's going to pop here. Geary's going to dodge it. We're going to pick up double KO, no problem. Right, Flutter Main's gotta die this, right? Yeah, cool. We got a crit, but it didn't matter. Flutter Main was dead regardless. The only reason Torkoal ate up is because it was it's a bit more defensively bulky. But big time KO from us. Hoping the sunlight can drop very, very soon. I might rest this turn. Depending on what Pokemon they go into, I might just rest. I might rest. And if you have Iron Hands, she's gonna fake me out here. That's a little suck, but <laughs> we gonna we gonna we'll deal with it. Iron Hands is gonna come out here. Iron Hands flies out here. Obviously, the Fake Out's gonna come out here. Iron Bundle's gonna also come out here. And I was gonna Terrasalize into... That hurts. I was going to Terrasalize into... Uh, that sucks. That sucks, sucks. I was going to easily Terrasalize into uh, Dragon. So we could dodge electric moves. But that's a problem. That is a problem. How many turns left in Sun? That's the real question. And I want to see your speed right now. 95. You're not gonna be able to outspeed. We're not going to be able to outspeed what's it called. You're not going to be able to outspeed the uh, the bundle, which sucks. But I'm just going to go for a rest this turn. All right? Do I go for a rest here? He's going to fake me out. Yeah, we saw that coming from 19,000 miles away. And freeze dry can come out here. You should be able to eat up the freeze dry, right? You do. Okay, you know what? Rest is definitely going to play here. We have the Chesterberry. 
Sunlight fades. We're trying to get off at least one EQ with this thing. So I'm going to rest here. Obviously, Iron Bundle is going to outspeed. I should Terrasalize. I should have Terrasalized this turn. I should have Terrasalized this turn. I should have Terrasalized this turn. Would have been our best bet. Maybe I'll Terrasalize next turn. We'll see. Freeze Strike is going to pop here. We eat this up all day, correct? Wow, that was really close. So, But we did eat it up. I'm able to rest. Go back to full HP. And this is why I should have Terrasalized. Because Terrasalizing would have neglected a lot of this electric damage coming in here. And we probably could have gotten off of EQ. But I go back up to full HP. 226. And I eat my Chester Berry and wake up. So Dantos are doing some work right now. Iron Hand seems like it's going to be a problem. Wild Charge can come in here. And okay, I get off an EQ. I can get off an EQ, which I really, really like. It's easy EQ. No need to Rasslize. We'll save it for like Flutterman or something. Or, or Geary's not bad with it. Because isn't Geary sashed? You are sashed. And you have Water Terror. Muddy Water? Not bad. I can go into you. This would just steal me. I don't think Tarras... Actually, we should Tarrasalize on those, right? Did we do that? We might be able to get off two. If I Tarrasalize here, I'm going to Tarrasalize. I just feel like we get more value out of Don Dozo's Tarrasalization rather than the other two. Because the other twos don't seem like we're going to do too much with it. Like Steel, he's just going to one-shot my Fluttermane. Tatsugiri Water. Maybe get off a little bit more damage, but still. I feel like we can maybe get off two EQs at this point. So I'm going to Tarrasalize straight in the Dragon here. Gonna pop an EQ. You're gonna encore me. There's no way. There's no way. There is no shot that this deli bird is rocking encore. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that this deli bird is rocking encore. I'm encored in the rest, and I'm gonna struggle and die this battle is gonna be so long there's no shot <laughs> there's no way <laughs> there is no way that hurts man that hurts that hurts a ton that you can just encore me constantly that sucks Dream punch gonna fly here i had my plan all set up and this thing's rocking encore the only iron bundle to have encore the only moveset i've ever seen on deli birds or Iron Bundles is Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, Protect. The only four. And of course, I got to go up against the one with Encore today. That is awful. That is awful. Because he's just going to Encore me again. Just keep attacking, right? So I'm dead here. Unless I wake up and rest. My speed's going to drop off. I'm going to wake up here. It's going to be great. Nope. I'll probably die out here, right? Because he'll just Freeze Dry me next turn. Yep, that is... I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Because you have Encore. Because you have Encore. That's a problem. Deli Bird is a problem. My Encore is gone. No way you put me into another one. I'm just going to go for an EQ. Because if we somehow eat up whatever move he's eat, going for. Because I would think he's just going for the KO here, right? The smart play would be Encore me again. Hey, go for a free strike. Can we soak this? Low roll? We don't. That's what I was hoping. We can soak it up somehow and then get off an EQ. But that is terrible, man. That is just... That's just... That's a bad beat right there. That's a bad beat. But the gummy comes out here, and he's obviously going to take damage. And that sucks, man. That sucks that we don't have a focus ash anymore. Okay. So we have you here. And we're definitely going to need you to outspeed. We're definitely going to need you to outspeed. So I'm just going to throw a meteor right into this thing's mid. Right. I'm going to double down to Iron Hands, because we're going to hope that we outspeed. I'm just going to choice new game here. Do we outspeed? We do not. Free strike coming out here. I'm going to take out the gummy here. And yeah, that's GG's. That is GG's, no problem. Wow. Encore legit saving. Saving this man's life. Because EQ should have been out on both these guys. And I think after that EQ, that Gleam could have KO'd. But that's going to be GG's right there. We start off today's video 0-1. Very hard, hard fought battle number one. But we just end up losing. Second battle coming at you guys. Cannot believe we lost that first one. The only iron bundle in the world to rock Encore we go up against and it does this dirty. But it's all good. We're hopping into our second match. Let's grab ourselves our first victory. Going up against an Iron Hands team with Mimikyu, Gastrodon, Torkoal, Sylveon, and Sableye. So it's a Trick Room team. It's a 1000% a Trick Room team. How should I go into this one? Who should I lead? I feel like Fluttermane is going to be a solid lead because we can counter any fake outs. We'll be super effective up, up against a few. So Fluttermane, you're coming in here. I might also lead the Golden Go. 
I think I'm gonna also lead a gold again. Just double ghost seems very, very good for us, right? Because we can counter up on a decent bit. Hopefully, Sylveon isn't gonna be lead because Sylveon could be a problem. But we would force it to Terrasalize at that point. So I am gonna go Golden Go. I am going to go Flutter Me. I feel like it's a pretty good lead. And then with Trick Room out and about, I do wanna bring the Gambit. And I feel like Iron Moth could be good in the back end. But if Trick Room's here, Don Dozo by itself could be rather strong, right? Speed's rather low. It can hit pretty hard. I kind of dig it, but again, Storm Drink Ashton's there, so it kind of makes me want to bring Iron Moth. Because Moth has Energy Ball four times super effective onto that. He could help us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Moth here. I'm gonna go Moth, even though Trick Room's gonna be a problem. We know they're gonna set it, unless we could just get rid of their Pokemon right off the rip, especially with Double Ghost. I feel like there's a possibility that we can do that, so I'm gonna hope. I'm definitely gonna hope. But let's see who our opponent ends up leading. I feel like Iron Hands is a must here, right? Iron Hands and Mimikyu, Iron Hands Sableye, somebody to fake out, right? Yeah, Iron Hands Mimikyu. So Iron Hands Mimikyu comes out here. This is going to be a gleam. This has got to be a gleam to take off the, uh, the what's it called all day. So we're going to gleam, and I think I just make it rain here, right? What do I Shadow Ball? I might Shadow Ball, and the reason I might Shadow Ball is because A, I don't want to lower my special attack right now, and B, he could end up Terrasalizing. I think I'm just going to Shadow Ball here. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. We're just going to straight up Gleam across the board. Doing half damage to Iron Hands, which is huge. And more importantly, get off the Disguise. Let's we'll see what Mimikyu wants to go into here. Actually, outspeed. So Mimikyu's dead here. We're killing this thing, right? It's gone. Dope. Get it on out of here. Hot start for this battle. Hot, hot start. Hot start for this battle. Probably going into an Iron Head. I'm fine with that. Not fine with that. That KO'd me. I thought maybe we could eat. I always, I always feel like my Flutter Mane has Focus Sash on it because most Flutter Mains I use have Focus Sash, but that one doesn't have it, and I and I keep forgetting. It. But it's all good. I take out the Mimikyu. Trick Room's not out and about. I bring out the Iron Moth here, right? Gotta be replied. Trick Room's not here. We can save the Gambit for back end support with Sucker Punches. Moth's gonna get speed. It's gonna pop its booster energy, and we're gonna get going from there. And Gastron's gonna come out here as well. I think I have to Terrasalize in the grass here, right? I feel like I have to try a slice. Definitely my player. Definitely going into that grass move. Thrash slice, go for energy ball, take you out. Like grass will help us up against the electric moves too. And then we just straight up, do we plot or do we shadow ball here? I think we just shadow ball, start chipping up on this iron hands. That's a play all day. So I'm terrestrializing here. This is one of the reasons we brought the iron moth was to deal with this thing, this gas on. Cause we knew gas on would be a problem. If I go straight grass, I'm ready to hit this thing. Hopefully, it's not Terrasalize itself. Or if it does, it stays grass to ground. We'll see. So it stays. We're going to say bye-bye to Gastron. No problem. Four times super effective. We're terrored in the grass. Get this thing on out of my game. Get it on out of here. Iron Moth is ripping here in battle number two. So we get rid of you. Next move is going to come out here. It's going to be Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is not going to be able to pick up the KO. But still, it's going to be able to chunk up some nice damage on the Iron Hands. And get, get, get after it that way. So Wild Charge is going to fire here. He's going to take recoil. And now a Heat Wave can finish that off, which is huge. So I can freely Heat Wave. I could go into a uh, Make It Rain too, which I probably want to do this turn considering I'm rather low on HP. Or I might just want to protect just to get some HP back due to those leftovers. Not bad here. Not bad here. Their final Pokemon is going to be... Thanks for the sun. Thanks for the sun. Thank you for the sun. And I feel like I might just protect here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect, and I'm just going to get off a Shadow Ball here. I am just going to get off Shadow Ball because we know he's Terrasalizing. We know he's Terrasalizing. It's coming out here. Fire Terror. There it is. Fire Terror coming out here. We still have the Gambit. And the reason I'm protecting here is so he just doesn't pick up a double KO on me and I can get off some damage. That's my plan all day. And who knows? Maybe he goes for a Heat Wave and we dodge it. We just go from there. So I'm protecting the Iron Moth here. And we'll go from there. Shadow Ball flying, and we're hoping we get a special defense drop, which could be pretty big for us. So, wow, that did a nice chunk of damage. Wild Charge is going to fly. Look at that. We already blocked the shot, and hopefully, maybe we can miss a Heat Wave here. Or dodge it. Heat Wave does come out here. Oh, who's dodging it? Who's dodging it? Oh, we're protecting. Can you dodge Golden Go? No, Golden Go dies out here. And since I protected that turn, that is huge because I can Sucker Punch, take out the Torkoal, and Heat Wave can finish off the Iron Maw. And if Sucker Punch doesn't finish off the Torkoal, then Heat Wave's going to come over here and pick up that slight bit more of damage. I mean, we outspeed right here, so instead of uh, Sucker Punch, I might just go into a uh, Kowtow Cleave. We'll do more damage, right? 85, 70. 
yeah, we have speed. I mean, no reason not to. So he waves flying here. It lands. We're saying bye bye to Iron Hands. And it straight up KOs the Torkoal. We got a crit on that thing. We got a crit, but still, it was GG's anyway, considering we took out the Iron Hands. Kathak Cleave was going to go next. It was going to finish off Torkoal. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 101 for today's video. Our first victory. Got to use Iron Moth to showcase it to its fullest potential here. We're sitting at one and one, hopping into our third and final battle, and we're going up against a Sandy Shock team that was made by a world champion. I believe it was made by Ryoto Osabu, if that's how you pronounce his name. But I was going to have uh, showcase this team on the channel very, very soon, considering I have the rental code for it, and it just looks amazing. Sandy Shock is very strong, and I haven't showcased it yet, so I'll probably be using that team in a little bit. But we're going up against it for right now. It's got Sandy Shocks, it's got Fluttermane, Brute Bonnet, the Fire Toro, Scissor, who has been very prevalent in uh, Series 2. And then last but not least, it's got the Murkrow. It's got the Murkrow. And I feel like Murkrow is going to come in here. So Don Dozo is probably not our play. So from here, who do I lead? Iron Moth looks pretty solid. I like Iron Moth up against a few different Pokemon. Plus, I have that Quirk Drive that boosts our uh, speed. So I'm going to go Iron Moth here. So Iron Moth is going to get the lead. I could also go Fluttermane here. Fluttermane wouldn't be bad, but I kind of want to go into a Pokemon more so like King Gambit here. Just because I'm a little worried about Scissor. And then go Fluttermane, Golden Go. I like that. Scissor seems like it can be a little bit of a problem. But I feel like we can work our way around it. I definitely do. But we'll see who our opponent wants to lead. I feel like Scissor might be a lead. It could, but obviously Murkrow's, Murkrow's come in here. And I feel like that's the only problem with this team is speed control. No way of speed control here. No Icy Wind. No Tailwind. No Trick Room. None of that. But Sandy Shocks come out here. And I believe this thing's electric and what is it? I actually don't know. Is it park ground? It might be park ground. It might be park ground. But I don't understand why they didn't just make like Magnezone a form. I don't understand that. But Protosynthesis pops. And I think special attack is heightened. The special attack is here. I see you're typing. It's electric and ground. No steel anymore, which is huge. I feel like I just trash last year, right? Go into that. I could just swap the game, but so I'm thinking of doing because ground seems like a problem. Or I could just sucker punch. I might just double down into this thing. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get rid of this thing. I'm going to just try to get rid of it. But I think Iron Moth outspeeds. And if I could sucker punch, do a little bit of damage to it, and then just finish that thing off with a... Actually, we probably don't outspeed because we know Tailwind's coming in here. But if I can lose a Pokemon, lose Gambit, and get rid of Sandy Shock, I feel like that's a solid turn for us. So Tailwind's coming out here. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And we're going into Sucker Punch. So Sucker Punch, chip up some nice damage. I think goes for an Earth Power. And good Terrasalize from us. We're able to soak up. And we get rid of Sandy Shocks. I could have sworn you were going after my Gambit, but that works out fine. That works out fine. So we get rid of you, no problem. Solid start for this battle. Solid start from this battle. Iron Moth is doing some work in today's video. I'm really liking Iron Moth for today's video. Ripped in that last battle. First battle did okay. This battle starting off with a big time KO. And now we're going to see Tauros come out here. Seems like a problem. Seems like a problem. Intimidate's going to come out here. We're going to Defiant Pop, which is pretty big. And I feel like we either swap. I mean, I could swap, but... We're swapping to Fluttermane. I feel like we just protect this turn and hope he, hope he comes into the slot. And then... Oh, dude. <laughs> Sucker Punch sucks on this. <laughs> ah, dude. This is awful. This is awful. This is awful. Boros is a problem. We're gonna get rid of we're gonna start teeing off on Mercury. I'm gonna protect the Iron Maw. Raging Bull come in here. He switches sides. Are you kidding me? Reads my protect, man. That was my turn there. That was my turn to get back in this battle. That was my turn to get back in this battle. Cause this bull is a problem. This bull is a problem. Actually, I mean we can maybe get some work done here. Brave Bird coming out here. Wow, this is ripping me. Brave Bird, chill on me. So Brave Bird wants to come out of here. I am going to bring out my Fluttermane at this point. The Fluttermane is here. Um, There's no point of swapping Iron Moth into Golden Go. Unless I would rather have Iron Moth, right? Which I would actually rather have Iron Moth. So you know what? I'm going to swap. I'm going to sacrifice my Golden Go. And I'm going to choice into a Gleam here. Yeah, that's my play. Let's choice to gleam here. I would rather have Golden Go. Because we know the fire moves probably coming into that Pokemon. Right? Into the Iron Moth slot. 
And if I can get rid of Murkrow and have Tailwind end, then Iron Moth get a little bit of value here. So we'll see. So we're going to swap here. Bringing out the Golden Go. If you go into the Fire move, again, take out Golden Go. That's fine. Defense is already dropped, which is pretty good. Protect comes out from him. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. Brave Bird going into Golden Go slot? No, into Flutter Me slot. Hit me hard. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. Gleam's going to fly here. Get some damage off on the Merkur. Might even KO. We're choice specs. It's stab. It's super effective. Can we KO this thing? We do. Okay. 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 Is Tailwind end? Please show me Tailwind ends here. I think they have one more turn left in Tailwind, which kind of hurts because I can't protect. And their Flutter Main comes out here. So their Flutter Main comes out here. What is my play here? I'm just going to Shadow Ball and Gleam. Tailwind's a pain, man. Gleam's going to fly here. Flutter Main survives. Flutter Main survives. That's a big time survive here. And you survive too. Oh my god. My Pokemon are menaces. Menaces. Gleam takes out. Oh, yes, sir. Takes out the bull. Shadow Ball's going to finish off this match. Yo, my Pokemon out Vulcan. Big time plays from us. Big time plays from us. There it is. Shadow Ball comes out here. We had Iron Moth in the back end to clean it up regardless. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 1. We grab ourselves an amazing winning record and have ourselves a great third and final battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record for another video on the Gene's YouTube channel. Iron Moth, definitely MVP for today's video. Ripped up through teams, doing a lot of damage, getting after it that way. Fluttermane was there, definitely there to help out a little bit. And Golden Go and King Gambit did really well, too. Dondozo and Tasuguri came in there in match number one. Should have grabbed ourselves that win, but of course we got Encored and it screwed us over. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.